Let me show you how to set up both follower and sub goals for your Kickstreams. We'll be using a free tool called Botrix, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. We need to log in with one of these four options. I know that Kick isn't an option, but we'll be linking our Kick account to Botrix after we log in with one of these four options first. So I'm gonna choose to log in with Twitch. From here, it'll bring us to our profile tab. And if you're not here, just go to the left-hand side and click profile, but you can see the platform says Twitch. And we need that to say Kick. So we can go to the profile tab and we're gonna scroll down until we see the kick option and we're gonna click sign in with kick. Now we can put in our kick username and then click accept. From here, we're gonna have to give the moderator role to Botrix. So you can click continue and it should bring you to your moderator page on kick. But if you can't get here, you can simply go to kick. And then once you're logged in with kick, you go to the top right corner, click on creator dashboard, go to the community tab, go to moderators, and then you'll be brought to the same place. From here, we're gonna click add new. We're gonna search for the bot called Botrix. It has a little check mark next to it. Click that and then click add. Now we can see that it's been successfully added as a moderator. But if that doesn't work for you, you can go to your own kick chat, type slash mod and make sure it's case sensitive. So capital B and capital R and then do slash mod space Botrix and then hit enter or you can hit chat, give it a second. And then it says Botrix has been added to your mod list. Now we can go back to Botrix. It says that we have to link our kick account to Botrix. So we're going to highlight this and we're gonna right click and click copy and we can click this link and it'll bring us to Botrix's chat room, but that's okay if you can't get here or it doesn't work because all you have to do is go to this URL right here, which is just kick.com forward slash Botrix forward slash chat room. So then you can just put that in. Now we can go to the actual send message area. We're going to right click in it and click paste. So it's going to paste that there. Now we're going to click chat in the bottom right. It's going to send that message to link our account to Botrix. Give it a couple seconds. It says you have now successfully linked your Botrix account to your kick account. So now we can go back to Botrix. Now we can click finished. Now you can see that we have our kick account linked to our Botrix. However, it's not selected because if you look in the top left corner, it still says the platform is Twitch. So how we fix that is we go and click this green settings button on our kick account. So click that and it'll change our platform and all of these different settings to kick. So now we can go over to the widgets tab where you can now see goal followers and goal subscribers. So if we click on goal followers, you'll see that we got a bunch of different customizations settings here and over on goal subscribers it's the same thing but keep in mind that you only can use a goal subscribers if you're actually a kick affiliate because otherwise you can't get kick subs yet but it's the same process of setting both of these up so I'm gonna do it on the followers instead though a quick heads up if you guys plan on using a sub goal with kick you got to change the mode from custom length if you want to do total subscribers so leave it on custom length if you have a daily sub goal but if you want to do total subs you can click total subscribers but we need to download the botrix extension and open kick and make sure they're linked together. So real quick, we'll add the Chrome extension for Botrix, which I'll leave links in the description down below. We'll just click add extension. It says it's gonna be added to Chrome, give it a second. Now it says it has been successfully added, but now we gotta go to our creator dashboard on Kick. And once we're on here, we're gonna refresh the page. I'm gonna press F5 on my keyboard to do that. And now you'll see above the activity feed, I'll just hide the stream preview for you. It'll say alerts connected to Botrix. And you're gonna leave this page open while you're streaming so it can actively count your active subs. And if it says click to fix, simply click to fix it. Who knew, right? Or if it just says connecting to Botrix and it's stuck, just keep refreshing until it says alerts connected to Botrix. But now let's check out the followers goal. So I'm gonna go over to goal followers and now we can set it up to how we want. So you can change your pattern. So how it looks, if you want it clean, if you want it normal, if you want it radius, it just rounds it. I prefer clean radius because I think it looks the nicest. You can also change the color by clicking this little color here. You can drag it up and down and then you can click around in here to get the perfect color for your stream. And then we can change the amount of followers as our goal. So right now we're at 507. And if you want to help us push to a thousand followers, then you can find my kick link in the description below. So we'll just change our quantity to a thousand because we're halfway there. You can change the text color with this. I wouldn't recommend changing the text color because it might be hard to read. So I'm going to actually just leave that on white. You can also change the message too. So we can do followers goal if we want. Then you can change the font at the very bottom, which there really aren't that many options right now, but they're still in beta. So I'll cut them some slack. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna go to our widget URL we're gonna click copy and now we can go into OBS Streamlabs, stream elements or whatever streaming software that you're using because it's all gonna be the same process so I've opened up OBS so you can see what's going on if you're wondering where I got this cool overlay I have a whole video on it in the top right corner but we'll go over to our sources we'll click the plus button and we'll go to browser and you're gonna do that in Streamlabs or whatever other streaming software you're doing it's just a simple browser source we'll just call this one a follower goal if I could spell oh my god that's actually awful 
<laughs> then we'll click OK. And then we're going to double click and paste this link in here. We'll click OK. And now you can see we got our follower goal right here. And if you want, you can drag the corners to make it larger or smaller. And you can also hold the Alt key to trim off this bottom portion so it's not as annoying. And then you can just drag it on the screen to wherever your little heart desires. And it's literally the same exact process for the subscriber goal too. So watch this kick playlist to the side of me. It has everything you need to know about streaming on kick. My name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.